Hi, curl friends. Naturally Rhonda here for all my old time subscribers. I love you, love you so much. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, please stay a while and check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. So I've had knotless braids for a few weeks now, and I wanted to just make this video showing you how I maintain my knotless braids. So this is the way I sleep with my knotless braids. So I'm gonna take this down and then I'm gonna show you how I put this up. Then I'm also gonna go through the four main types of products that I use to maintain my hair. Okay, so for starters, there isn't just one way to sleep with knotless braids or box braids for that matter. It's whatever works for you, whatever is comfortable for you. I used to use this bonnet. This is like a very long bonnet that has a button closure at the top. I'll show you how this works. So I'll just put, because you see it's a bonnet here, I would just put the bonnet on and then put the all of the braids inside you can just leave it like this if you want to but to me that's not comfortable it's just i'd be hot all this hair still would be getting in the way this butt enclosure you can pull it up like so and then secure it like that i've done this before it's just not my favorite way to sleep with my braids but it is an option so I will leave a link down below in the description box for where I got this from. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is also waterproof. So if you wanted to, you can use it as a shower cap. Okay, so the way that I do mine now, I sleep with my hair in a bun, but I use two different scrunchies this thinner scrunchie and then the thicker scrunchie. I first put my hair in a ponytail with this scrunchie. I flip all of my hair to the front. Take the scrunchie and then I just twist the whole thing into a bun and secure it with the thicker scrunchie. This is also the process that I would do if I wanted to wear my hair in a bun, but of course it would just be neater. Like this is just thrown up there any kind of way because I'm gonna go to sleep so it doesn't matter. Then I take this beautiful big satin scarf I will also leave a link down below in the description box if you want to know where I got this from. I just do fold it over from one corner to the opposite corner and kind of make a triangle. Put this at the nape of my neck, secure it in the back, and then just tuck the excess in. And there you go. This is how I sleep with my hair. And this is also how I shower with my hair. I can just put my turby twist on top of this. Or if you wanted to, if your shower cap was big enough, you could put a shower cap over this, but I just like using a turby twist. So as you can see, it's secure and good to go. But this is not time to go to sleep. So I will show you what I do when I wake up. So this first step is optional. I've had my braids for a few weeks now and I'm used to washing my hair every week. But of course, with a protective style like this, you wouldn't be washing it every week. Now, there are some people who will still go ahead and shampoo wash their hair like normal with braids i'm not a big fan of that because i feel like no matter how many different ways i've tried it i always end up with frizzy braids no matter what i do and i'm not trying to do all that so i'm going to use a dry shampoo it doesn't have to be this one i'm just trying this one out this is fragrance mist it claims to tame static and this is the waterless brand i believe and i'm just going to focus this on my roots i only use dry shampoo really for protective styles because like i said normally i'm shampooing my hair once a week so i don't need something like this but i know for people whose hair gets a little more oily they'll do this in between washes to kind of freshen it i'm concentrating it on my scalp and i'm just lifting different sections going in between i'll leave links for all of these products in the description box in case you're wondering okay that feels 
good. Even though I've had these braids in for a few weeks, I think they still look really good. So I don't want to cause any unnecessary frizz. So I'm working it in, I'm massaging it in, but I'm also being very intentional about the way that I'm doing it. That step is optional. I've also had braids before when I didn't use any type of dry shampoo. So it's completely up to your preference how often you want to do it or if you even want to do it at all. Depending on how my scalp feels, if I feel like it's just extra dry or just normal, I would use one of two products. I would either go in with a water-based leave-in conditioner. The one that I'm using today is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. I love this, it smells so good. This I just spray on my roots and because of the nature of box braids, your scalp is really exposed and it just feels so good. Honestly, I spray this on my hair sometimes just throughout the day when I just feel like it when you first get your hair done and it feels kind of tight and uh, it just feels so good to spray something like this on your scalp. But let's just say today is one of those days where my scalp is feeling extra dry. I'll go in with a spray oil. One that I love is from Eden Body Works. Black owned company y'all. Eden Body Works is tea tree and peppermint hair oil. And again, this would just be spraying it on my scalp. This also feels really good. And then it really has that nice peppermint smell, which is refreshing. My last step is mousse. I like to use the Suave Max Hold Mousse. But all I do with this is shake it up. And this is every day I use the mousse. And I'm very generous with the mousse. It helps lay down the hair. So I start at the top and I work it all in. Flip my hair in half, go in with some more. Like I said, I am very generous with the mousse. Go down one side, don't forget the ends. And then I do the same exact thing on the other side. I know it seems like it's a lot, but it's a lot of hair over here. And as you see, as you're working it in, it melts into your hair, so it's fine. Yeah, so that's about it. That's how I maintain my knotless braids. Also, before I tie up my hair at night, I usually go in with some more of the leave-in spray just to make sure because we need to still make sure that our hair is moisturized even when it's in a protective style. I almost forgot another step. I also still oil my scalp. It's really easy to do with box braids because you see my hair is already parted. It's so easy. You just go put oil in between the parts. I have a video all about oiling your scalp when you have a protective style. If you haven't seen that, I will leave that down below in the description as well as up above in the cards. This is the moment in the video where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like the video showing me getting these knotless braids and a video showcasing some black owned hair brands that you might not have heard of yet. I love you for watching y'all. Please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.